Hey, this is Mike Gaddis. Thanks for joining me. It's always a pleasure bringing you these videos. So today is uh, February 18th. I'm going to focus today on how to get really rich. And this title comes from the books written by the great author, Felix Dennis, D-E-N-N-I-S. And he wrote these two great books, and I highly recommend that you read them. In fact, if you want to know how to get really rich, you need to read these books. These are like the primary books. Guy was worth $750 million. He has since passed away, but his words live on in me forever. And so the title of these two books are How to Get Rich by Felix Dennis and The Narrow Road, also by Felix Dennis. And in these books, Dennis talks in depth and specifically about his own life and how he pursued wealth. Now to him, Wealth was $100 million, somewhere around there, at least $50 million. He didn't consider, you know, just having a good, comfortable lifestyle, making a few million dollars and flying first class as being rich. In his opinion, being really rich was having your own jet, owning it outright, not leasing it. Like a lot of guys who are out there, they, they lease these jets and they have to work their asses off just to pay for the jets and the fancy cars that they're driving. I personally prefer to have every, own everything free and clear. I don't lease things. I actually like to own things, contrary to what the greater pundits have to say. So let's dive in right now and talk about some of the things that Felix Dennis talks about. I'm looking at the computer. I want to quote it. One, number one thing, he says, if you are unwilling to fail, sometimes publicly and even catastrophically, you stand little chance of ever getting rich. So that's number one. You got to fail. I have failed so many times, like hundreds of times, sometimes costing me millions and millions of dollars, millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars. I talk about that in my two biggest failures in one of the previous videos. You can check that out if you want. Number two, if you care what the neighbors think, you'll never get rich. You can't care what anybody thinks. Your wife, your girlfriend, boyfriend, other friends, the people that are working the nine to five, you can't care about any of that stuff. If you can air, if you cannot, this is number three, if you cannot bear the thought of causing your family, spouse, or lover while you plow a lonely, dangerous road rather than taking the safe option of a regular job, you'll never get rich. So you're gonna have spouses and other people tell you, you know, what are you doing? Let's go out and let's go out and have a drink. Let's go out and have dinner. Let's go out and have some fun. Forget about it. That's number three. Number four, if you are artistic and you have artistic inclinations, because a lot of artists out there, they create I don't know, websites or beautiful paintings or whatever. He says a lot of those people think that if they go the road of making money, because you have authors out there that write these books, they write hundreds of books and they're extremely wealthy guys. But a lot of creative people think that if you have anything to do with money, <laughs> then you'll lose your creative talents. It's totally and completely false. And you'll never get rich in that case. Number five, if you're not prepared to work long hours, this is my my biggest one, you have to work long hours. I mean, you have to work your ass off. I mean, you really do. It's not really work, because if you're really into it and you like it and you find your passion in your work, which is what you need to do, doesn't mean you have to be passionate about it, but you have to find it while you're working and say, well, I'm working for the greater good, I'm gonna create wealth for my family, and that's why I'm putting in seven days a week, because I still work seven days a week. I still spend more time with my family than I ever have before. But you got to do this when you're young, so that's another thing. I'll talk about that later. Number six, uh, if you cannot convince yourself that you are good enough, you'll never be rich. So you have to look in the mirror and just say, hey, you can do this, man. Don't be a big pussy. Don't be a big baby. You can do it. Only you can do it. No one else can motivate you. Go to a Tony Robbins seminar. I like Tony Robbins. I'm not putting Tony Robbins down. All you Tony Robbins lovers. But you can't go out and get motivated by Robbins or Kiyosaki. He's another guy. And Grant Cardone. I mean, they're all they're all, they're all all good. I like, I like these guys. I don't have anything against them. But you have to motivate yourself. You have to convince yourself. Let's go on to the next one. I think this is seven. If you cannot treat your quest to get rich as a game, you'll never get rich. So it really is just a game. It's not really life or death. And the last one is, if you cannot face up to your fear of failure, you'll never get rich. You have to learn, and he says this kind of like twice, but it's really true. You have to look in the mirror and say, hey, I failed, so what? It's not a big deal. People are like obsessed over failing. Who cares? I don't care if I fail. 
I don't like the fail, but if I fail, I says, wow, I learned something from that. I just made an investment, it didn't work out. I pulled all my money out, pretty much. And then I took a look at it, made relationships back with the guy that I did the deal with. We're on the up and up. It was a failure and now we're turning it into a success. So you have to be able to handle failure. This is Mike Addis. These are some of the things that Felix De uh, Dennis talks about, Felix Dennis. A great author, I highly recommend that you read these books. Thanks for joining me on this video. Don't worry about getting rich, you'll get rich. You just have to put in the hours and the time and the effort and not care about what anybody else thinks. You have to take action today, that's another thing. See you on the next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please leave comments.